Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to do cross validation in decision tree analysis. Decision trees are a non parametric supervised learning method used for classification and regression. The goal is to create a model that predicts the value of a target variable by learning a simple decision rules inferred from the data features. So, what is a cross validation? It is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of the input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say that it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Actually, what we are doing in cross-validation, let's try to understand. There is a data set. We will bifurcate into training and testing data set. This training data set will go for cross-validation in which the parameters will be evaluated, best parameters will be picked up, the model will be retrained, the final model which is there on that, the test data will be administered and we will try to evaluate how the model is performed. Now, let us see how we can do this in rapid minor. First of all, we will have to load the data set. So, fruits and vegetables. I will connect this to the result window. I will press the paper play button. You can see here the attributes which are there are vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, magnesium, calories, potassium protein, fiber, and the classification. I want to find out that what is the criteria that on the basis of which fruit and vegetables are classified. I'll again go into the design window and here I'll select the attributes. I'll simply drag it and drop it. I'll go in subsetting the data set. Select attributes. I will not include the name of the vegetable or fruit. Apply. I'll set the rule from here. I will specify the classification. Make it as label. The target rule is to be specified as label. Please refer my previous videos on regression analysis to understand the flow of the lecture. Now, I will activate the cross validation from here. I will simply drag it and drop it here. Disconnect this line. Whenever any operator is having a two layers, it, it is very clear that this operator is having a parent process as well as a child process. Double click on it. Now, the screen will get divided into training data set and testing data set. You will go here and activate the decision tree. Now connect this lines, train with the training, model with the model. Again go here, apply the model, drag it into test window, model with model, test with unlabeled. Activate the performance window. Classification is to be dropped, label to label, performance to performance, example to test. Once these connections are over, you get the green signal from here, go into the parent process. Now, there are some connections which you are allowed to do from here also. Model is connected with the result window, performance is connected with the result window and test is connected with the result window. Now you run the play button. First of all, go in the performance vector. Now you can see the number of samples have increased because we have done the cross validation. The classification accuracy which we have achieved is 65%. Here, the data was fruit. The actual data was showing it was fruit and the algorithm also predicted it is fruit. So the 15 such cases are there where the prediction was correct. Here, the data was vegetable. And here, the algorithm also predicted it is vegetable. So, seven such cases are there. So, 22 cases have been classified correctly. Eight. So, here, it was actually the vegetable algorithm predicted it is a fruit. Similarly, here, the original data was fruit and the algorithm predicted vegetable. So, 13 misclassification has been done. So, the classification accuracy is 65 percentage. Now, I can go in example set to see 
where the misclassification has happened. This is these are the correctly classified cases. This is misclassification. This is correctly classified. I can also see the confidence level. So confidence here is fruit is one. So I'll get the confidence here. Now I can go into decision tree where I'll get the decision tree for the classification. Moreover, I can also get the rules for classification. So here the basic question is, is vitamin A greater than 104? It is very clear. It is a vegetable. If it is less than 104, next question is, is vitamin C greater than 5.5? It is less than 115, this vitamin C, then it's a fruit. So this is a decision tree. You can also change the layout of the decision tree from here. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. You can also see my playlist in which I have uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. Thank you.